Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving the game, uh, leave it, I'm going to start again. Well, yeah, it's because it was quite loud in my headphones, so I turned it down, but it's actually as, loud, as quiet as it can go without being silent, so it threw me off that it went dead quiet. Hello, my name's Chris, this is Blue Kraken Gaming, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where if you are enjoying the series, I would ask that you please consider leaving a like, a comment, or a subscription. Any or all help the channel grow, and they help get it out in front of other people, so thank you very much to those of you that do that. Now, in our last episode, we ha were working over there to do the recycling for the nuclear power plant, and then we came over here to try and sort out some of the copper sheeting, because we were running out of AI limiters. Um... Between episodes, I have gone and had a very quick look to see what is going on. And actually, the copper sheeting is fine over there because it's actually being done by drone, uh, not by what's going, what we were sorting with. Um, and we are producing 60 AI limiters a minute over at the Caterium factory. And we need 30 of them a minute over here. Hang on, yeah, six. Six times five. So we've got 30 over here. Which should be fine, because that is what we're going to be producing, because it's currently being split between the computer factory and over here. However, if there is any delay in the trains, that causes a problem. So what I'm probably going to do is head back over there in a second and uh, change it from a normal splitter to an, uh, a smart splitter, because the supercomputers are less important to us than those control rods. If those control rods stop once we get the nuclear facility running, we're going to have a meltdown on our hands, and that is going to be an issue. Um, however, we are also on the time I'm recording this, the 3rd of December, so we have Fixmas going. Now, I'm going to address the Fixmas elephant in the room before we get too far with it. If you notice, and you may have seen it in the background, we still have our Fixmas factory over there, the one that I tried to shape and make look like a giant present. Yes, that bow on top is awful. No one gave me a better blueprint. So it's kind of still there. Um, that factory is still set up and it will work. It just needs to be fed copper and iron. However, that being said, they've confirmed that this year's Fixmas is a rerun of last year's, which means I've actually already got everything completely unlocked and there's nothing for me to do with it because we've kept our Christmas tree there. We kept it up all year. Um... So there's nothing really for me to do with Fixmas. So we're not going to be doing any Fixmas episodes. If you want to see me do that, by all means, do have a look at the previous Fixmas. Uh, the episode cards all have a little uh, Christmas hat. Um, but what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be opening the calendar. Uh, now, with the calendar, because I record this once a week, we're only going to see it on for what you guys will see will be the Friday episode. So we're going to try and open those so I can immediately see I've got that for the third. But I don't need the red bauble, so that's that done. There's the second one. Coal again, I don't need that. Uh, I'm hoping for something, some of the fun stuff like the power shards and whatnot. What do we have first? 100 presents. Again, nothing there. Okay, so that was underwhelming but next week we'll have like seven to open so yeah we want to head over in this direction i need to get out might need to put a little like roof hatch in uh i do love that walkway i think i've done that really nicely um but i'm in a weird way weird way and i know i'm a long way off from this but in a weird way i'm looking forward to this series finishing so I can kind of start again and take everything I've learned um, and basically do it better because what I really want to do and I've been watching um, what Darren plays which I know a few of you also watch out there where he's restarted his and I love his new road blueprint I think it's brilliant and I, I kind of want to do something similar myself when um when I get the chance, but I kind of feel like this world is too developed now for me to try and, you know, tear down the half motorway that's still there, because we kind of tore half of it down, but it's kind of still there, and it's just a bit messy, and I feel like a clean start would be better on that, so I kind of would like to do that at some point. Right, okay, so you are a normal splitter, now we're going to change you 
from a normal splitter to a smart splitter. There we go. And we're going to send the right as overflow, which means that's going to take a while. But like I say, I would I, I want to keep those control rods going. Look, there's so many already in here. That was basically being stuffed already as it is. So let's get that completely straightened out and uh, done properly. So that's that bit done. Uh, then we need to go over and sort out some of the stuff we're going to need to start figuring out for the nuclear recycling, which means I think we're going to need to start bringing in some reinforced concrete beams. Uh, in fact, we can have a look, can't we? Because we want plutonium pellets. Right, so what do we need for the pellets? So that we've got sorted, fine. We then go to encased plutonium cells. Pellets and concrete, that's fine. Fuel rods. Steel beams, we'll need to bring those in. Heat sinks. We've got plenty of those now and more control rods. Okay. So we're going to need to bring in more control rods. Okay, heat sinks I think we're okay with actually because we're currently overproducing those for the... Um, ah, words are escaping me right now. For the turbo motors. Um, so we can probably siphon a load off of those because I think that's backed up now. Though arguably, this where we're on the recycling one at the moment, that's going to be far more important. Right, okay, so. Let's have a look. How is our heatsink set up? Yeah, that is all backed up to the bilio. Right, so. That's maxed out. So let's just double check. So we are using 18 times 3. So that's... We're using 54 heat sinks a minute. And we're producing. Uh, let's have a look. Seven. Ooh, so 54. And then we've got 7.5 times 8. 60. So we're actually not producing that many spare. We probably will need to. To produce some more over there. Okay. That's going to be fun. Okay, which means we're probably going to want to try and fly some of our clad aluminium sheets that we're making over there. Okay, so let's go and have a look because I do want to set up the. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Have I got batteries? I have got batteries. Yeah, I need to set up the um, sinks I've got over there. So I'm going to try and start droning stuff in so we can check how much we're actually bringing in at a time. So I will see you guys when I get over there because I'm not going to make you watch me jump and hop my way over. Okay, so here we are. We're back over. I have just noticed as I'm moving back to the recycling, although we laid down all of the... Uh, um, stands for the elevated waste conveyors. We didn't actually run them, so I'm just running these now kind of think that's what happened at the end of last episode because this was what a week or so for me now um that we ran all of this ran out of aluminium sheets went back to get more and then noticed all the copper problems right so that is then there and then we can sort out all of our mergers and everything we'll need to do in a bit for that we are going to need to repeat that for that down there but what i do want to get sorted out is this gubbins so you are the battery one. Drone port five, target battery out. Yes, so you need to go there so you can go and pick up some batteries, which will then feed this one, and then we can check to see how much silica we're bringing in. Uh, we might... Encroaching other objects clearance, that's fine. Let's do that. And then... Because let's see how much spare aluminium we can bring in as well, actually. Uh, right, equipment workshop. Want a portable miner. And then... 
Where are we? Drone. Right. Uh, you will then need to have a splitter. Like that in to make sure it's properly going. Why didn't that go in? Oh, because there's the stand there. Yep. Right, and then you're going to need to come over here. Go in like that. You're going to have a merger there. I know this is horribly horrible, but this is mainly just so I can check the uh, the flow rate. Uh, can you do that? Yep. And then power that one. And you need to go to... Uh, aluminium sheet out. There we go. And just see how much aluminium sheeting we can thieve off of that. Okay, because concrete we can actually just... We'll need to put another train station, but we can just train that all the way in. So I'm going to let that run for a minute. Hopefully that drone will be back fairly soon. And in the meantime, we can get on with laying our mergers... Uh, ...over here for this waste. Right, so... That's kind of nice that you're snapping. That is very considerate of you. There we go. Uh, there we go. Like I have to admit, this has been a bit of an eye-opening project for me because I was like, "Oh, great! I, I've got the uranium fuel rods being made. I'm, I'm nearly there." No, no. No, not no. I'm not nearly there. This is uh, this is whole new levels of madness to me. Right. Okay. And then we want yeah, Mark Five lift. And again, I think I mentioned this last week that I know I'm not going to need to transport. Uh, a volume of these that would require a Mark V. What I want to do is I want to move them as quickly as possible so I don't have tons of highly radioactive... Tons of, yeah, tons of highly radioactive material. Just, you know, meandering slowly through this facility. I want to get it shipped off. I want to get it moved as quickly as possible, which is why I'm using the Mark V belts, even though it is nowhere near necessary for the volumes we're dealing with. But like I say, I just want to get it moving and get it out of the way. Right, so that's then you. And that's that lineup sorted. Nice, okay. Have we got batteries flowing yet? Uh, that looks like we have batteries flowing. Nice. So those other drones have all gone, which is great. Awesome, so that keeps that going. And then, yeah, we'll just see what the flow rate is once we've got that going a little bit. That's perfect. Okay, so let's come over here. And we need to put you there like that. And then we need... Do, 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 do. It's, it's not on my quick bar anymore. Stackable conveyor support. Right. And then we just need to run this down a bit. So I'm going to run this between... Ooh, that's upsetting. Yeah, no, I, I can't I can't cope with that. Because it's that's that's in the way. Uh, okay, we're just going to have to go alongside for this one then, which is going to be. I'm not going to like it because it's you know not lined up. 
but I kind of need it to be like that, which is frustrating because I really don't want that clipping through the middle of a, uh, a belt. Now, what I was saying is I'm not counting how many uh, foundations I'm actually going through because I know that these can go... There was a... Dis I look, I, damn it, I've done it again. I know there was a discussion in uh, some of the comments uh, over the episode where I ran all the water piping around where uh, people were saying I actually use resources I didn't have to because uh, I... Oh, hang on. Sorry, I'm just concentrating on this. Right, one, two. There we go. Uh, yeah, because I was using uh, more resources than I needed to because of the fact that I was uh, only basically using just under four foundations worth for each junction. Um, with the water, whereas they can go like seven, I think was what was discussed in the comments. So some people were saying they use a setup like I've got, but they alternate between that one and uh, a blank three length um, blueprint to maximize how long those pipes can be. Uh, now, the point I was actually trying to make where I got caught with all that meanderingness was I'm not counting that with these belts. I'm not too worried about using additional resources. What I'm doing is just putting it between each reactor so that we've got that in place. Uh, right, and then you're going there, and you're going there. So that's kind of what I'm just getting up to with this. Uh, so, yeah. But I know a lot of you are really excited to see how I'm getting on with nuclear. Um, some, some of you, because you've not done it yourself. Others, because you're curious to see how I'm approaching it, considering, you know, I've never done this before. Haven't got this far. Um, which, I'm enjoying the challenge, but my word is the maths hurting my head. <laughs> it's uh, some of the numbers I'm having to, like, work through. And I think it's going to be okay. I think if we can bring in enough of the extra resources, then we're going to be fine. The heat sinks, looking at what we've just looked at, I think are what are concerning me the most. Considering we're now going to have to try and make them on site. Uh, which is going to be a problem. I haven't actually looked at how many I'm going to need. But, yeah, that's going to be a fun one. Come on. Right, there we go. That's lined up there. And come on. There we go. Um, so, yeah. But, I mean, once we get this done, all that's going to be left is to properly work on the space elevator parts. Now, one of the other things... Ugh, I really don't like how that's kind of... It, 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 it doesn't look intentional enough, but I, I know it's doing it, but... I, I just, I, I'm, I'm unhappy with it, but I don't have a better solution for that at the moment, short of shifting all of that over, and I could, but I'm going to level with you, I'm not. <laughs> uh, right, that's the battery drone coming back, that's fine. Have we sunk anything else yet? Incoming transfer rate, 400 items a second. Right, and you're bringing in silica, aren't you? So you're making... What are you making? Yeah, you're making the non-fissile uranium, aren't you? Yeah, you're doing that. Nitric acid and sulfuric acid. That is... Yeah. Nitric... We've got to do more acid work, which is a... Yeah. That is one of the bits that's worrying me as well. Uh, how much silica are you using? 25 a minute. So that's 50. 100, 150 silica a minute we need. And you're bringing in 437. Okay, so that's fine. How much aluminium are you bringing in? Not 
Yeah, because you've just dumped all that off. That's fine. <clears throat> so, this one we're actually happy with. I'm going to turn that off for the minute. Because we know that's definitely bringing enough in. You, on the other hand... Did you actually bring any aluminium? Ten. Did you... Did you... What did you bring? Dismantle drone. And you take ten aluminium sheets to make. You brought nothing. Okay, we might have to go have a look at that aluminium facility as well at some point. Oh, God. This is getting so complicated. Okay. Either way, let's continue working with this. Now, this one... Yes, I am going to still need to bring up. So, let's do that. And then let's get the conveyor, stackable conveyors. Right, and then let's just start running these down as well. Okay. And we're going to have to fly in nitrogen. Which I don't think will be a problem, because we've got our bottling plant. So that's going to be okay. And we're not even tapping all that nitrogen. So the nitrogen, I think, is going to be okay, other than the fact we're going to have to make more acid on site. We're going to have to find a limestone node here, because the plan for that water outlet, I'm not going to try and recycle all of that. I think what I'm going to do with the water outlet we get from this is just make some wet concrete with it and sink it because I'm not going to worry about going through all of oh that was quick okay uh, right uh, so you're doing that yeah I'm not going to worry about uh, faffing with wet con uh, faffing with trying to recycle all the water I'm just going to make wet concrete and be done with it because then we can make sure that doesn't get backed up. We haven't got to worry about any of the hoo-hahs we get into with the aluminium sometimes. You're missing one of your stackers. There we go. Right. No, that's how thank you. Uh, yeah, for the concrete, we're going to need, actually, I suppose we can sink, um, we can set it up, because we can use some of the concrete we make on site, although we're really not going to need to, because my plan for the concrete for the encased, um, plutonium bits is going to be to, right, how many have you got this time? Still nothing. You are going to the right port, aren't you? Aluminium sheet out. And you're bringing nothing. Okay, that's a concern. We're going to have to go over and have a look at that now or very soon. Let's just finish up getting all these splitters down and then we're going to go have a look, see what's going on with that aluminium facility. Right, okay. Because I don't like the fact that's not bringing anything in. Like, that actually worries me. Right, uh, there's you. Okay. We might, and I hate to say this, have to make another aluminium facility, which feels bizarre to say, considering how big our existing one is. And we've got two. But if it's... If I'm getting nothing out of that at the moment, all I can think of is that there's been some kind of blockage or gumming up the works. Because one of the bits I have got there is I don't have a way for the um, drones to handle if they are stuffed with uh, copper and can't get rid of it. I didn't think it was going to be an issue. Possibly it might be. 
I have to wait and go and have a look. Right, that's that all done. So let's go and have a look and see what's going on with the aluminium facility. So I'm going to make another quick cut and we're going to go over there and find out what is going on. So I'll see you guys in a couple of moments. Okay, I think we already have a problem because coming over here, look, this top belt is not moving smoothly. So something is going on. That flow rate stopped. That buffer's not empty. Okay, so what's going on upstairs? Let's try and trace it. So, you are unable to get rid of your Illumina solution. Because you are full and you can't get rid of your scrap. Okay. So, you are coming up here. You're going up to these banks, which is going up here. Right, okay, what's going on? There, it's out of copper. Okay. Well, there's our problem. Okay, so we are not producing enough copper at the moment well, there's certainly not enough coming in is the problem okay uh, yeah because we're now dealing with that kind of yeah okay so this needs more copper ingots is effectively what we've got going on here fine do we have any copper nearby we can work with? I'm going to say no. Purity temp, normal. An impure node there near the blue crater. That's yee, not great. Uh, okay. So we need to get more copper over here. Alright. Well, that's going to be the challenge for the next episode because I'm going to need a moment or two to think about what we're going to do about that. So, as usual, likes, comments, subscriptions. They all help the channel grow. They help get out in front of other people. So thank you very much to those of you that do that. Thank you very much to my patrons and YouTube channel members. Your support is very much appreciated. And please don't forget that as a supporter, you do gain access to the save files for any of the open world games that I'm currently playing. But other than that, thank you all very much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day, and I will catch you all next time.